Hi everybody, this is Sherry, and I just wanted to show you something that I made. This is not my idea. This I saw on a video, and his name is Amador. I don't know how to pronounce his YouTube name, but I will put it in the description below. And now he, um, he was able to take a piece of... I believe it's 18 gauge floral wire and it comes green and it comes in this strip like this and I'll put the link I'll try to find the link to his tutorial tutorial as well excuse me it's too early in the morning for me well I couldn't find this floral wire anywhere and I live in a little tiny town so there's no craft stores or anything around and Walmart didn't carry it but I went to my floral shop and I asked them and the lady sold them to me for five cents a piece. So I got 50. <laughs> and I practiced and I practiced and no matter what I did, I could not get mine like his. You know, sometimes, especially, you know, men, their fingers are just tougher than ours or, you know, mine are arthritic. <laughs> I'm getting old and falling apart. And I couldn't get the wire twisted around. And when I did, it would distort the shape of the hanger, which was absolutely driving me crazy. I thought, if he can do this, I can do this. I just need to figure out a way. And so what I did, and I'll do a tutorial if you want, but it's it when you see his, you'll see how he did it. And what I used for the shape of my loop is just my uh, now this is a chunky one mind you it's about an inch in diameter maybe three quarters of an inch let me measure that for you so you know actually it's yep right about an inch so this is what I use to make my loop for my thing and I made the little loop first just like he did put that around there made that made my little stem boom 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 brought it out when I got to here I clipped off what remained and left just enough to bend another loop and I bent another loop and I caught my wire and then I used a pair of pliers that looked like this and I squished it as flat as I could get it then after I did that, I went to my hardware store and I found 22 gauge uh, wire. Now this is very thin. I don't know that I would go any thinner than this, but I mean you can by all means do whatever works for you because I love this idea of his. I just couldn't do it. and. Um, <clears throat> excuse me and so what I did was I went with a 22 gauge I pinched it together up here and held it together then I used this to wrap around the top to make the little loop like he did now that worked for me and I was able to do it I did not have I could well I have them I can't find them the clips that like for the clip it up so these are Tim Holtz clips and I just used um, some wire and I believe it was the 22 gauge wire and I used my um, needle nose pliers and I made a, my own little S hook let me move it up there and kind of turn it sideways so maybe you can see it better I made a little S hook like that hook that on there and hook that on there and then when I got ready to spray paint it because this is a turquoise I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference because one's turquoise and one's green let me move them up here see if you can see a difference not really on camera but I'm sending these to a friend who likes turquoise and so what I did was I unclipped Un unlooped the Tim Holtz clip because I didn't think I 
could spray it right and I was worried about getting down in that hinge I didn't want to risk it getting stuck so I took that off left the little S clip on took it outside um, you spray paint and sprayed the clip and the little S hook and then once it was dry I brought it back in and reattached the little clip and uh, I thought it turned out great I wish I could do mine the way he did because it just looked like it would be a little sturdier but I couldn't so for us ladies who may not be as strong or or whatever I thought this would be an alternative and again if you need me to do an uh, tutorial I will but if you follow his it tells you how to do the basic shape and then I just made a little loop there caught my other wire and pinched it closed and then wrapped the thinner wire around for this part and once you spray paint it you know because this is silver and of course the floral wire is green so you're going to have to spray paint it but once you spray paint it you can't tell that it's not the same wire and I actually wrapped mine up and then I came back down so that it was thick so that it looked like it had the same thickness that this size wire would have had that's what I did it was super quick super easy I will put Amador's YouTube channel and I will try to find the link to his hanger video but if I can't find it just go on there and you know go through his videos but it wasn't too long ago that I saw it so I'm hoping it's a more recent one and I can find it and when I can I will put the link below because this was not my idea it was his but I think it was a great idea and actually I'm gonna make them to hang in my living room and put my kids pictures on and this way I can swap out pictures real quick and I use the new punch I got yay thank you and uh, but um, so I wanted you all to see this and uh, and before I got a, these ones ready to mail out because I'm mailing them out to a friend so thanks for visiting me today guys and happy crafting and oh yeah you can turn this the other way if you want your picture to go that way because these will slide any distance just like his will if you want them to bye guys